Hi Virgo! Welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. Um, Law of Attraction reading for you, Virgo, for the month of April 2016. So glad you have joined me today. And just so you know, um, for this reading I will be using the Law of Attraction uh, Tarot deck. And to give you a little preface, um, my readings here are going to be based on the Law of Attraction. And you will get more use from my readings if you are practicing the Law of Attraction in your life. And please check out my other videos. I have an introduction on the Law of Attraction and I have step-by-step, -step, um, you know, easy process as far as starting to use that in your own life. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so um, as far as what you're desiring, Virgo, um, for the month of April, this card is the Nine of Pentacles, so this is definitely representing an earth sign, which is you. <laughs> so this is what the Virgo wants. This card is the card of conquest. Good for you, Virgo. Basically what you want is complete and total victory. <laughs> perfectionistic sign uh, so the sign of conquest is basically you have mastered whatever you are desiring you have overcome all obstacles you have won the prize you have kind of against I don't want to say all odds but basically you have achieved everything that your heart has desired so your true desire, and, and this doesn't come without extreme work and effort. I don't think that Virgos are going to be pleased unless they know that they have worked for it. They have earned it. And that's what, exactly what this card is. As you can see, um, this guy has climbed the ladder of success. And each one of those rungs maybe represents hardship or difficulty or struggle and strain. So what Virgo wants is is complete and total victory and mastery over all of their problems or all of their desires or everything that they're truly wanting they want to be victorious and this card shows that that victory is not just for themselves but it also affects other people it also branches out to help other people who can benefit from their successes so I would say that the Virgo is truly desiring self mastery and also so much mastery and skill that they benefit others as well okay and that their success bleeds over to benefit other people's lives okay so that is what is truly being desired for the month of April okay alright so as far as what the the Virgo for the month of April is valuing uh, this is the moon card so the Virgo is valuing kind of like a dream-like, intuitive, uh, creative, almost illusionary quality. So you are probably drawn to people, things, or situations that maybe are really opposite from yourself. Uh, Virgos in general are very analytical and methodical and logical and very mental and cerebral. So the thing that you are desiring, um, that you value, that you value in others and also you value in yourself is more of this emotional, um, intuitive, but there's also with this, there's also illusions. So I think that you value things that are mysterious and that things that kind of make you think, um, use your mind and, and use your, your analytical and reasoning abilities to figure it out probably because it's a challenge and uh, it's interesting and it's kind of different than your rational mind so I feel like for the month of April you're going to be desiring or valuing things that are more, more on the emotional side you might be drawn to people that have more of an intuitive kind of illusionary uh, so like the sign of like 
you know, the, because the moon is, represents like the water element, maybe Pisces or Scorpio or Cancer, you're really going to be valuing these types of signs and energies uh, for yourself for this month. So, and there's something in you that wants to tap into this as well. So there is a little bit of illusion here. So meaning that sometimes what you think is not what as it appears to be. There can be some deception and there can be, uh, you know, emotions can be just really on like high alert and just so powerful and intense that you're not really sure what's real and what's not real. So that's something to be a little cautious about, whether that's in yourself or something that you're drawn to. But basically for the month of April, you're looking into how you're feeling about things and you're looking for answers that are relating to your emotional emotional side and you're going to value that in other people. Okay, so as far as what might be holding you back um, in the month of April, we have the Fool card represented here. And that's interesting. Okay, so the Fool, I mean, this is a jolly fellow. And <laughs> um, to me, what this, is, what this is symbolizing is that there's a lack of clarity. And this would actually make sense here with the moon. <laughs> there's a lack of clarity going on with some of your desires for the month of April. Meaning that you, you're kind of in this imaginative place. I feel like your creative and imaginative powers are, are, are activated right now. And so you're sensing that there's infinite possibilities, um, and so which is exciting, but with that, there's almost too many choices, and you might feel a little scattered about what to do. Um, it's, it's exciting, actually, because this represents opportunities. The, the number is zero, so it re represents infinity, and the choices are endless, but therein kind of also lies the problem is that there's indecision or that there's lack of clarity in your intentions. So you might have a lot of ideas running through your head, but you're not really sure which one to pursue. So for the month of April, um, you might be experiencing some intense emotions and illusions and you know grandiose dreams about what you want to create um, because obviously you have pretty big aspir you, you have pretty big aspirations. <laughs> You're pretty ambitious, so which is which is awesome. But there just needs to be more clarification as far as what you really want to create. So maybe you know take some time to to really think in a concrete and detailed manner. Use your analytical skills to narrow down the possibilities so that you know what to focus on for the month of April. And then the other thing that this could represent, uh, the fool sometimes just kind of rushes into things. So there might be some Virgos that are just so swept up in the moment and so swept up in the emotion that they just want to go for it, like impulsively, kind of naively going for it. And so the fool can represent just kind of hastily making a decision without even really thinking about it. So the main thing that this is kind of emphasizing here is that you need to really think things through so that you have a plan of action that you're that you're knowledgeable knowledgeable about and maybe that's why you're kind of drawn to this energy of being more of the emotional you know uh, intuitive side because maybe you're kind of tired of being rational it does get it, it can be draining so just try to balance these two energies out and use your rational mind okay so the path that you are meant to take is the world. Let's see if you can see that clearly. And that's a really beautiful card. So what I'm sensing here, Virgo, is that you really have the capability right now. Um, you're, you're the sign of the worker, and I know that you work very hard. You have the capability to kind of evaluate your entire life right now. You're at a place where you you're seeing pretty clearly, you're feeling, you're pretty in tune with how you're feeling right now and you're able to look at the entire picture of your life and, and see what needs completion. Maybe you have put a lot of play, uh, pieces to the puzzle already in place. You've definitely dealt with uh, some issues that have been holding you back or that you've needed to work on. 
And now is the time to look at maybe a different area that has been neglected or really this, the path that you're meant to take is a, a complete circle of your life. So leave no stone unturned. Now is the time to evaluate. I mean, as you're seeing, there's infinite possibilities for you right now, infinite possibilities. The key is just not being drowned out or deceived or overwhelmed by illusions. So the world represents total fulfillment. So right now, I mean, in your, your desires, as we know, is the conquest, your desires are very lofty. You are, you're reaching for the stars. You're reaching for that top of the mountain. Um, so that's good. This is showing you that that's, you're on the right path. And you are you have the ability to to see what else needs tweaking to clear out you know if there's something else one area that's been overlooked or needs a little bit more work that's what you want to be pursuing you want to look at your whole picture the whole entire picture and then the other thing that could be bringing up too is that you know Virgo likes to look at the details and sometimes Virgo can get kind of caught up in all the details so this card is encouraging you to look at the whole picture. If you feel like you're getting really stuck on this one little nitpicky thing over here, move on, move on. Try to see the whole. Try to grasp the whole. Um, you know, you're very good at the details, but but make sure that you're looking at the entire picture, how this is going to balance this, and, you know, don't neglect one aspect. You can come back to the details later when the time is right. Okay. So, as far as the right attitude, we have the Judgment card. And the Judgment card is a beautiful energy. I'm not sure... Um, <laughs> okay, so Virgo, you might have had some things happen in the last year that have been rough. I feel that maybe some of you have been wronged. Maybe some of you have actually put forth efforts and you did your part, you did your work, and it just hasn't turned out the way you thought. So you, the, instead of feeling bitter or feeling like a martyr or feeling down on yourself, the attitude that you are meant to take is the attitude of judgment. And this card is letting you know that at the end of the day, when the time is right, judgment will prevail. Meaning what has been sown will be reaped and karma will catch up. And this could be for you or this could be for someone else. Um, and obviously we don't like wish bad things on other people. Uh, but that the natural course of the universe, it will happen. Maybe not in you know your time, but that you know, you can be confident and know that if you continue on your path, your highest self, good things are going to come. The fruit will happen. So your attitude is really about trust. And sometimes that's outside of yourself and outside of your rational mind. And for Virgo, Virgo is very analytical and they want to figure everything out. So this is a time to let go of that, to let go and to trust God and the laws of the universe and the spiritual realm and how the world works to know that that good does triumph over evil you know good things do come to those who are good and karma does come back to you know teach someone that maybe needs to learn something and that's not your responsibility to do but you just know that as you do your work as you're faithful this is going to happen. So that's the attitude that you're supposed to have and that you're not the one to execute it. That's the other thing. It's not your job to teach people what they need to learn. Um, because this guy, this, this is, you know, angelic energy of judgment, they're, they're very capable to execute judgment. And when it happens, it's very powerful. It's, it's about bringing things from death to life. I mean, it's like execution time. It's like things that are old that people may have long and forgot about, you know, is being activated. So know that this is something that you can trust, that you can rest assured in, that it will happen at the perfect time. 
Okay, so, wow, you've got a very powerful spread, Virgo. <laughs> I feel like you're, you're thinking some pretty deep things. Okay, and um, as far as, so let's kind of just recap. What you're truly desiring right now is conquest, is total mastery, attainment, and skill um, that's actually going to benefit yourself and benefit others as well. So this person has reached the top, has reached the pinnacle, and is victorious, is confident, and knows that they're a master. And they're also able to overflow and to help other people in positive ways. Okay, that's what the Virgo energy is desiring. What you're valuing and what you're attracted to um, for the month of April is this um, intuitive, spiritual, illusionary, imaginative, creative energy. This could be something that you value in, in yourself and you value in others. The only thing to be careful with that is with all those kind of beautiful images and illusions and emotions, um, we have the fool here as a warning that there could be too many, there are too many possibilities, there's too many options, and there's indecision and there's a lack of clarity in what you really want. So that's something to be aware of. So you really want to articulate and clarify your intentions and what you're intending to create in your life. And the right path to take to attain what you really want is, is, a, is a broad vision, the world, and looking at your entire, your entire life in a big picture and, and seeing if there's any area that still needs a little bit of work and not getting bogged down in the details, but looking at the overall picture of who you are on all levels to see what area needs improvement so that you can get to that level of mastery. And the attitude to incorporate is this attitude of judgment, the, the judgment card, which is basically a trust in the universe that the good things that you've done are going to bear fruit in the right time. And anything that has been done to you unjustly or, or wrongly will be taken care of in its perfect way, you know, with karma. Um, but it's really not even something that you have to worry about. It's something that you can just let go of and rest assured and know that it's being taken care of. Now, if you do these things, if you balance these energies, the universe is letting you know uh, that you are going to get the Knight of Swords. Excuse me, the Page of Swords. Hopefully you can see it. And what this is showing me is this is just also encouraging you this is letting me know because this guy here, he's a master in what he does. He is a master at setting his sights on something and getting it. And you are assured of mastery. If you refine your skills, you are assured victory. Um, this guy, he can also use deception and illusion to get what he wants. So um, obviously you don't want to be doing that because you know that there's judgment for ill doings. But what this is letting you know is that you're, you're on track to be a mastermind. <laughs> to be a mastermind and to really just know what your goals are and know how to attain them. So so a really powerful spread, Virgo, for the month of April. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope that it shed some light on some of the things that you've been thinking about. If you feel inspired, please like and subscribe to this channel. And that's going to assure you that you are going to get uh, the monthly readings and also tips and tools on how to manifest your highest and best self. So thank you so much for tuning in and you have a beautiful day.